Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So, let's see. We've covered the community area and most of the builds out that way. Um, We've covered to the south the pyramid and Taiga Island and the ice farm and gold farm and my base. So now let's go this way. So that's the portal to Spawn Island um, and Risk and Seas Place. I'll pass that, we'll go in a moment. But first, let's go check out Valeria. So this was build. Uh, we went out here, um, we found a a mesa area to actually mine to get the clay because um, <clears throat> it's big and it's there's another mesa out by the stronghold which we will go check out because there's stuff at the end to look at but the um, that mesa is relatively small and there and Pete and Smash Mash built their base around it so we decided to uh, we found this Mesa area down here. How far down is it? I don't remember. And we decided to uh, keep our mining out here because this is pretty far out. This is very far out. If I remember correctly, this actually runs into another nether fortress. And whew, It's kind of amazing to me that I actually decided to build all this nether house stuff here. Probably should have, and probably in the next in the next world will do all of the nether hub stuff up near the bedrock ceiling. Uh, just because then you're just digging through, and the worst thing you have to worry about there is hitting lava pockets. Whereas here, you've got whole oceans of lava that you're bridging over, and then. You got gas running around shooting at you and blazes and all that horrible stuff. Um, yeah, that might be a better that might be a better choice. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, this is long. I should have put a rail out and out here. Yep, there's the portal. And that's right. We went in and there's another another fortress. And this this portal location just happened to be in the middle here by. <laughs> Uh, by another nether fortress. So let's go check this out. It's not too much to see out here. But there's a, a large mesa area. Hello, Enderman. Hello, Creeper. You, uh... Um, and I think Pete and Smash Mouse built, uh built this little house area here, which would be useful. Um, oh, and there's a village. Is there a bed here in the village? That would be a useful thing. Let's get... Uh, No bed in here. Oh, that's right. We had some villagers trapped. No, this was just a village. This isn't the little thing that Pete and Smash built. Anyway, uh, this is getting dangerous over here. So I'm going to head back out. But as you can see, we have Mesa area over here. A lot of it. Where'd the portal go? There it is. And... It would have been smart to put a bed down here. Large mace area where we could do all kinds of mining. Nothing really got built there. Okay. So we're going to go back to the next area. And I'll cut away and come back when we get there. All right. So we're back here. And then over here we have this little wall hallway. And big space here. That uh, Barb makes, makes things built a big build, which we'll go take a look at. And she called it Valeria. And 
it's still dark. Okay, I don't remember. This is fascinating area. So there's a lot of these sort of span of or sort of walkways, hallways, sort of elevated in the sky, and um, you know, let's sleep and get uh, get the the sun up. <clears throat> and yeah, so this area around here is pretty barren. There's not a whole lot here, but um, there's this map room, which is probably the most interesting thing here. It's a big, big room. Burning zombie. Just one. Why aren't you on fire? You're on fire now. Thank you. Okay. And <laughs> livestock. Okay. Oh, here we are. Okay, this is it. So this is the walkway above. I hear stuff that I don't want to be hearing. Where's that spider? So gargantuan map of a large part of the server. I'm a little nervous about those spider sounds. So they probably spawn somewhere. Okay, we'll we'll deal. So let's walk way up here. And down below, the chickens. I believe there's a ladder down there from over here. Just hoping that there aren't areas that are weren't lit up and so. Um, oh, okay. Walkway here. So some of those sounds could have been coming over there. Got it. Okay. How do we get down there, though? Is there a safe way down? Okay, we jump. So yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty 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 crazy. So you can see the cove area there, and spawn spawn island. This would be. Um, Cove area. This is Vex FX's place. This is community area. My base would be here. My Turtle Island is probably that one there. And this is Risk and C's place. So Valeria is probably out over this way somewhere. And I'm not positive. So this was obviously quite a lot of work. And that is a beach house that Barb makes things made. So yeah, this is a this is a really impressive build. This is the spooky sound. It's the amusement park area. Um, this is that other mesa where the stronghold is. So yeah, this is a pretty impressive map of the server. Uh, with just a few areas that are kind of missing. Um, a lot of work. And we got shulker boxes here with just a ton of building materials, maps, all that good stuff. Okay. So, how do we get back up? Or do we get back up safely? Or am I going to have to fly up? There's got to be a way. It's like one of these pillars has a ladder on it like this. Here we go. Let's see where this goes to. Uh, I'm not exactly where I was expecting, but see, I get, I get a little lost in this place. Oh, okay. This is where we walked in. And with all that glowstone 
just I like how it lights up the uh, <clears throat> lights up the map from behind. Okay. So that's that's this area. Um, whew, sheep eating. So anyway, that's that's this. Um, I'm not sure that there's a whole lot else in this area. Let's get back into the nether. So I put those signs up just to help people get to these intersections because all these hallways look alike. Um, and so it's easy to get lost. Um, and then I just kind of maintained putting up the signs and just listing the next several things along the route. And you just kind of had to know, like if, if you wanted to go out to the custom map area, you had to know that, you know, well, it was over past the uh, community area over that way. So, so this goes out to Spawn Island. And this goes out to Planet Hulk. So this is Eric Hulk. This is Barb Makes Things Brother. And he built... Come on. He decided to build this underwater, underwater base. It's really cool. Um, oh, it's got a little clock so you know what time it is. You come here and you go out and you can swim up there and uh, he just... Oh, wow. Sorry, that those sounds scared me a little bit. Um, so he built multiple domes underwater. And this is the main one. This is the big one. Um, I think there's more than one, right? Yeah, he's got a little conduit going on over there. Ah. Sorry, when the, the aquatic update stuff happened, he just kind of went hog, whole hog here. And it's pretty cool. Um, so let's go, and <laughs> there's skeleton horses down here. They don't drown. Oh, hello. I don't think he'll follow me and I don't want to deal with him. Oh my gosh, they sound so creepy. Ah. Anyway, so this, this whole area is just, it, it's all underwater, which must have been a pain in the butt. It's got decorative carpet down here and then different levels and the, they go up and down and this is all just super cool stuff. And then over here, oops, I screwed that up. Oh, there's another, oh! Water elevator, wrong way. Wait, does he have that? No, that's, that's one way. So there's gotta be one over somewhere going up. Like this one here, okay. Um, there we go, that's how you get up to this level, nice. Uh, it's super cool, a lot of, uh, a lot of glass going on. So it's a sugar box. And then there's a the area down below as well. So let's see. This was that's the up. This is the down. Okay. And then down here. Seems a little dangerous, but um no safety rails. That's okay. Uh, so this is this just sort of circles down. There's a bubble elevator there, so could do that. But he's just taking advantage of all the aquatic update features and building an underwater base, which is pretty cool. 
Oh, that's right. And then he's got this hallway over here. Clearly, it's a slime chunk. Oh, yeah. He's got a slime chunk. Slime chunk happening here. Okay. Um, so I'm sure he got a lot of resources digging this stuff out. And. Huh. Yeah. I'm sure he did. Okay. So this is. Eric Hulk's base. Underwater base, Planet Hulk, as he called it. He's got this sort of switched bubble vader, which is pretty cool. And when you step into it, it switches whether it's going up or down. Ooh, more spooky sounds. Okay, so let's get out of here and back into the nether and we will go on to the next area. More aquatic stuff. Okay, so way past Eric Hulk's place, his underwater base, and the witch farm, which we will circle back to, because uh, that was big and it was a bunch, bunch of work. There's stuff to cover there. Barb makes things, found a little spot out here in the new aquatic stuff. I think it's in the in the chunks generated under the aquatic update and that's this here let's go take a look and if this isn't let's see this is Where's the biome? Beach. Okay, well, is, okay, so I think she just decorated this to look like the aquatic update stuff, but this is a whole house that she built. And it is the middle of the night, so we have to be a little careful. But, um, build a little space out here. Uh, where she can just kind of hang out and look at stuff and go up on the roof and do target practice. She intentionally kept this unlit, I believe. It's an Enderman. Um, so yeah, this is a neat little design. And there's some more mappage going on here. So this is the, the beach house here and we're on the inside. Um, so this is kind of cool. It's not super heavily decorated but I mean what do you need and I think we can go up here up to the roof it's a little dangerous because this isn't lit but uh, so anyway this is the uh, Barb Mixling's beach house okay let's go back to the witch hut to the witch farm um, if I can remember where the portal is. Oh, hey, look, an aquarium. Oh, there's the portal. Okay. Okay, down that way, we went a long ways to make sure that we were in new chunks under the aquatic update. Um, may pop by there after we get done at the witch farm. It's a long ways to get out there and not, um, yeah, not, uh, there's not too much out there. But this is my witch farm and this kind of became my secondary base. Ooh, it's been a while. Let's go over here. So we are all up in the air and I have a bed over here. And let's go sleep in it because it's late and I would like it to be light out. Swamp vacation home. Okay, so we have a bed over here.
All right. So, um, as you can see, ah, some storage. Just miscellaneous stuff. Well, what was that? Huh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so this is a witch farm. I don't know that I'm going to go down there. It's a pretty typical witch farm. And all the drops from the witch farm end up in here, going up in here. And I've got uh, sorters and everything gets sorted out into shulker box loaders. And um, it's a big, big complicated mess, but got sticks and miscellaneous overflow stuff and bottles spider eyes redstone glowstone gunpowder and sugar so those are all the drops that, that witches make so what i did built this whole area out of floating platforms in the sky and all of it this is the afk point here over the witch farm and when i'm here then the the witch farm is in range and not a whole lot else right so the only spawning should be happening in the witch farm and if we wait we'll start to see stuff come up these little oh that's right uh come up this little item elevator here and um yeah so that's that's how that works i had some dogs and cats over here uh, i built some bee farms uh, both for honey and um I get to it. Uh, both for honey and for um, huh? I'm not positive how this works. I don't remember. Honey comb, honey bottles. Okay. Anyway, so that was, this is where I, when the bees came out, I, I, I built these sort of bee farms here. And uh, wood farm, tree farm. I have a horse over there with diamond armor because getting around on the platform is a little bit tedious. And the horse is kind of a fun way of doing it. I have another ward farm, another ward farm here. Uh, my goal was to set up an area probably over on that side of the the portal uh, that was going to be like a brewing machine for all my potions never really did that massive smelter um, this thing can smelt um, uh, so if I cut down a bunch of trees and go pop them into all these chests up here uh, they get they flow down super fast into the area of furnaces below um, each one of these is just a bunch of furnaces and they all end up in here and they just flow in if you get like eight or 16 stacks of uh, it's eight I think it's eight one two three four five yeah if you get eight stacks of, of uh, wood and you go load up all those those chests evenly uh, you'll get by the time you get back down here, you will have a chest. You will have a stack of charcoal. So this is just a crazy fast smelter. Insanely complicated. I don't know that you need it that much. But uh, then over here, a little mushroom farm, coca bean farm, carrot farm, fishing, which. Uh, that's right. I had to open, dig up the top because the fishing changed a couple times. So here it could fish up, you know, stuff. This was kind of, and being covered so the phantoms wouldn't come get you. Um, but you could still fish at night, especially when it's raining. Um, 
carrot farm was useful because over here I have my bunny farm. I grab a stack of carrots. Uh, this is kind of fun. It's a little creepy how all the carrots, how all the rabbits tend to stir off that direction. But if you hold a if you hold a carrot, uh, they'll all hop towards you, and you can come here and breed them up, and then kill them off, and get a bunch of rabbit's feet, which you needed for uh, leaping potions, I think. And um, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, and you could take the rabbit hides and make leather out of them, I think. And the rabbits were you could eat. So my plan was to make this into the brewing station. So I would build like an auto brewing thing here where you put in all the different components needed to make potions. And I wanted this to be my self-sufficient potion brewing thing. So you get your nether wart over there. Um, obviously I can't get blaze rods. I can't farm blaze here in the overworld, but, uh, but then you could get all the the witch drops which are used for potions and the rabbit's feet and carrots mushrooms and you can make all the stuff you need to make all the potions you need uh, but just don't use that many potions really so anyway that's that's the theory here i like this a lot and if i were smart i would have built another cover up in the sky above this so that the phantoms didn't become an issue because they kind of did. I had to build this little, uh, this area here covered so that at night I could just AFK here and then the phantoms wouldn't bother me. It's still creepy. Um, but regardless, so this is it. This is neat. It took a lot of, took a lot of sand obviously to make all this glass. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, let's uh, hop over to the aquatic area to see what's there. It's not too much. Um, mostly just wanted a way of being able to get coral and stuff. And I think we'll, we'll call that an episode then. All right, hang on a sec. Whew. All right, so that is like a... 2,500 yeah we're 2,500 blocks out in the nether which means basically wanted to be like 20,000 blocks out on the alpha world Ooh. and did not know how far people had uh, had explored with the lightras. So I knew I needed to come pretty far out and uh, that portal spawned in the middle of the, the river here. Um, and that's right. That's a sleep. So you get the sun up. And that was close to coming up anyway. So we wanted an area, I wanted an area where we had kelp and we had stuff and all the underwater stuff, sea pickles and coral. And I'm honestly, potentially a little lost here because, well, this looks somewhat familiar. We found an area, uh, I found a little island that I flattened out and did a bunch of exploring, finding shipwrecks and hidden 
treasure, sunken treasure, and stuff like that. Um, I do have, whoa, it's not flying to the mountain. Um, I do have, there is like warm ocean area around here and some coral where I was farming puffer fish and stuff like that. I think I have notes as to where it is. I was kind of going off of instinct. I was thinking, oh, hello, turtles. I was thinking it was going to be out this way. I'm not seeing the coral. But it's not like I built any structures or anything out this way. That island with the bridge and the tree and the, uh, the portal there. I think that was the closest we got to actually building much. This is lit up. That's a sign. Huh. Well, I did find a big coral reef out this way. Oh. Unconquered Ocean Monument. Okay, well, don't remember where all the stuff was out here, but it wasn't that much exciting stuff anyway. So that's uh, that's fine. So shipwreck down there. Um, so yeah, just did a lot of exploring and getting resources. So I think that's uh, really all we should do for this time so come back next time and we will cover what's left we have uh i have the trident farm i have the drowned farm i have the um we should probably go find the barb's roller coaster we have the custom map area we have the the ocelot farm <laughs> parrot farm so we we have a few things left um so that uh, we'll cover that next time. So thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.